Welcome back, Fragrance Fiend here today, doing a first impression of the brand new 2023 release by Penhaligon's The Omniscient Mr. Thompson. I ordered this little sample from the UK, I've never smelt it, I haven't read a thing about it, I've only researched the note breakdown and that's it. All else I know is that it's a floral amber men's fragrance that comes in 75ml and is of odor parfum concentration. The description that it came with is as follows, an ephemeral shadow but as reliable as a grandfather clock, Thompson is a virtuoso of the art of spying or discreet observation as he prefers. He must intuitively sense, foresee, or ignore. A master deceptor of social codes. Without him, everything crumbles into dust. You see, some walls are terribly thin. So the note breakdown simply consists of pink pepper in the top, orris in the heart, and sesame seeds in the base. I think Penhaligon's is one of my most reviewed brands so far. They are a favorite brand of mine, but the one thing that really annoys me is that they just list the most basic notes, and then you go into the description and you find a world of wonder. What annoys me is that I've overlooked so many of the fragrances because I look at the typical note breakdowns and not read the full descriptions where there's so much more other info, like hints of vanilla or whatever. If they're gonna call it a no breakdown, why not have everything in that no breakdown? Anyway, the sample is about three quarters full. I have not sprayed any. It's probably just evaporated during the flight. This sample cost me about $20, which is ridiculous, but let's have a smell. I don't like it. <laughs> At least it's true to the no breakdown. You can definitely smell those sesame seeds. To be honest, I've never been a fan of Oris, so I should have probably expected maybe not to like it. But then again, you never know till you smell a fragrance. There's always a bit of a, a curveball when you actually smell something with a note you don't like in it. You may be surprised. There's just something off about it. There's no texture or nothing pops about it. It just smells very linear and bland and almost gasoline-ish. There's 100% no pink pepper, I do not get that at all. I mean, I smell pink pepper in almost every second video of mine. It just happens to be in a lot of fragrances I have. The Oris is dominating as well as a bit of vanilla there as well, but the sesame seeds are a bit of a turn off. I just don't know who this is for. I've mentioned before, Penhaligon's is one of my favorite brands and I consider a lot of their stuff 10 out of 10, but I mean, with the last, um, the dragon one, which I really forget the name of, isn't really doing anything at all for me either. I don't know if it's just because I had high expectations, but even at one point I did consider actually lined of buying a full bottle and I'm so thankful I didn't now. It just smells like off sesame seed sauce. It's got a very minor boozy element to it as well, but it's really nothing that impressive in contrast to what I've smelled before. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on, but this is probably the most underwhelming first impression I've done, and um, I'm sorry, it couldn't be more entertaining or I couldn't be more informative. I'm just getting nothing from this. As far as projection and longevity, I actually see this performing much better than a lot of other Penhaligon stuff, but um, yeah, that's not what I'd really want out of this. I'm unfortunately going to wrap it up there, and um, I guess I'll see you next time.